pause the film now to do the question before me. Right, so Stanley walks 200 metres from A to B and then 160 metres south to point C and we have to find that distance from A to C. So AC squared will be 200 squared plus 160 squared. So AC will be the square root of 65600, which is 256.12, and so on, and so is 256 metres to three significant figures. Pause the film now to do the question before me. We need to find the length of the diagonal, so we've got a right angle triangle, so D is the hypotenuse, so D squared equals 8.5 squared plus 5.6 squared, so D squared equals 103.61, so D is the square root of that, which is 10.178 and so on, so to one decimal place is 10.2. the film now to do the question before me. We best work out how much steel he's going to need. He's going to need this length of x plus the other two lengths we know and x is the hypotenuse there so x squared is 4.3 squared plus 6.4 squared which means that x is the square root of 59.45 and so x is 7.88. So how much steel will he need? Will he need 4.3? plus 6.4, plus 7.88, he's going to need 18.58 metres, so he'll need to buy 19 metres, and that'll cost him 19 times 22, $418. Pause the film now to do the question before me. The first thing I'm going to do is to work out the length of QS. QS is not the hypotenuse. QS squared is going to be 14 squared minus 10 squared. So QS is going to be the square root of 96. Now I'm going to look at the right-hand triangle. I've got PQ. So PQ squared is going to be 5 squared plus QS squared. Now QS is the square root of 96. And when I square that, of course, I get 96. So PQ squared equals 25 plus 96. So PQ is the square root of 121, which is exactly 11. Pause the film now to do the question before me. Right, let's draw a diagram here. I've got a point three, four, and I need to find the distance between that and the point eight, sixteen. So this is going to be a right angle triangle here with that distance being 3 to five, three to 8 is 5, and that distance being 4 to 16 is 12. So D, my distance there is the hypotenuse. D squared will be 12 squared plus 5 squared. D will therefore be the square root of 169. So D is 13. Pause the film now to do the question before me. I need to find the area of the triangle, so I'm need to, going to need to know the whole of its base. I'm going to start by finding that length x. Now x is not the hypotenuse, so x squared equals 7.5 squared minus 6 squared, which means that x is the square root of 20.25, which equals 4.5. That means that the whole of the base is 9. So the area of my triangle is the base, times the height divided by 2, which is 9 sixes halved is 9 threes, 27. Pause the film now to do the question before me. I need to work out the area of the triangle, which is going to be the base times the height divided by 2. I know that the base is 8, but I don't know what this height is here. But I have got a right angle triangle here, H, 8.5 and 4, half of that 8. So h squared will be 8.5 squared minus 4 squared. h is not the hypotenuse, is it? So that's going to mean that h is the square root of 56.25. I'll just keep it as that. 
for a moment. So the area of the triangle will be 8 times the square root of 56.25, the height, divided by 2. And if I put that in my calculator, I get the answer 30. Pause the film now to do the question before me. Right, let's draw a sketch. My first point is minus 12, 14, so it's up here. And my second point is 28 minus 16, so it's down here. And you need to find that distance there. So that is a right angle triangle. This length is 40 from minus 12 to 28, and this length is 30 from 14 to minus 16. So the length I'm after, x squared equals 40 squared plus 30 squared, which means that x squared is 2,500. If I square root that, I find that x is 50.